Hey everyone, I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated, and I just wanted to do a quick video today about the recycling industry and the unfortunate processes that cause millions of laptops to be needlessly scrapped every year. Um, so what I have here are a couple hundred old white MacBooks that I picked up, and uh, they are old, uh, granted, but they're still, you know, decent machines for web browsing, for Linux, uh, for a number of uses. And uh, what's gone on with these is that the recycler I got them from has pulled all the parts. So uh, pulled the batteries, probably scrapped them uh, or recycled them, uh, pulled the hard drives and RAM, probably sold those. Uh, and even things like the uh, hard drive caddy and proprietary screws for the hard drive, which are hard to find, those are gone. So um, the thing is with these laptops, these are these go for $50, $60 complete. So if you're thinking about refurbishing these, the problem is you have to add an $18 battery, a $12 charger, uh, $6 worth of RAM, $8 hard drive. You have to find a caddy and screws somewhere. So what that means is your cost, even if you get the laptop free, is $40, $50, and then you're selling it for $50 or $60. So what does that mean? That means these laptops, due to the processes that caused all of these parts to be stripped um, have made these laptops no longer viable. Um, who would go through the process of getting all of those parts only to make no money? No one. So uh, it's, it's infuriating what happens. A lot of it's due to electronics uh, certifications, uh, which require uh, certain of these, these processes to exist, hard drives to be pulled, uh, things of that sort. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I see it all the time. I see it hundreds of times a year, uh, machines just being made no longer viable. And, uh, you know, there are thousands of electronics recyclers out there. So that equates to millions of machines. Uh, very unfortunate. And, um, it gets worse too. I mean, you see even better machines. I've seen hundreds, uh, piles like this of hundreds of MacBook Airs, 2015 MacBook Airs, and the SSDs, the drives, have been all stripped and destroyed. And then the recyclers present these machines for sale, but who has the SSDs? No one has the SSDs. Uh, they just, there just weren't enough made. There aren't any third-party uh, alternatives uh, for those drives that make sense at a reasonable price. So what happens? Those Airs get... Uh, get parted out, the boards get sold, the screens get sold, but then there's a glut of screens and a, a glut of boards because no one needs those parts, they need the SSDs. So it's it's all very unfortunate and it's something that no one knows anything about because no one uh, really hangs out in electronics recyclers and sees the reality of the situation that goes on. Uh, most people are familiar with uh, end user repair, with repair shops, with, uh, you know, talking about people repairing their own stuff, but they completely neglect uh, the fact that probably the majority of machines out there go through uh, corporations, governments, and academia, and then get into electronics uh, recyclers where they are more often than not treated in this kind of way. Um, even those entities that are donating machines, selling machines, once they know that they're no longer going to use these machines, they treat them badly. They damage them. They strip them of parts. They uh, process them in ways that, you know, ensures that they're not going to be refurbished. They uh, ship them badly. They store them on shelves uh, in 110 degree temperatures uh, such that, you know, components are fried. So... Anyway, just another nail in the coffin of repair, refurbishing, and uh, reusing our electronics uh, frustrates me a lot, like I said, because I think it's the majority of the problem, uh, the majority of the repair and refurbishing uh, problem uh, that exists, uh, millions of machines, like I said, becoming unusable and, and eventually being scrapped, but no one sees it. So if I can shed a little light on that reality, um, that's what I'd like to do with this video. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something.